In the early morning hours of Sunday, June 23rd, Jacksonville rapper Charles Jones arrived at Teaser's Gentleman's Club in Tampa for a paid performance. Uh, he's a gentleman wearing the red beanie hat. That's Tampa Police homicide detective Juan Ramos identifying the rapper, known as Julio Fulio, in new surveillance video from the club's parking lot. The tragic death of Jacksonville rapper Julio Fulio shocked the hip-hop community, but the story behind his murder reveals a much darker narrative. At the center of this chaos is Sean Gathright, an 18-year-old with a chilling connection to the crime. The events that unfolded expose a web of violence, revenge, and cold-blooded calculation, painting a disturbing picture of a young man involved in a fatal ambush. This is the unsettling truth about Fulio's killer, Sean Gathright, rapper Julio Fulio, whose real name was Charles Jones, was tragically shot and killed in Tampa, Florida, while celebrating his 26th birthday on June 23, 2024. The shooting occurred in the parking lot of a hotel near the University of South Florida. Three other individuals were injured in the incident, but survived. One of the people who was among the survivors was another rapper from Jacksonville, Omerta. He recently did an interview on Say Cheese TV, talking about the shooting incident he survived while with Julio Fulio. Omerta didn't grow up with Fulio but met him around four years ago. Fulio was a significant inspiration for Omerta's music career, particularly because Fulio showed that success was possible for artists from Jacksonville. Omerta was with Fulio in Tampa for Fulio's birthday. His decision to join was last minute, and when he arrived, he found Fulio in a good mood excited to celebrate. After attending a club, they returned to their hotel, the Holiday Inn, but encountered a problem with their reservation. While sitting in the car, figuring out their next steps, the shooting occurred. Omerta was driving the car with Fulio as the passenger. While they were parked, shots were fired at them. Omerta was shot eight times in the arm and grazed three times on the head. Despite his injuries, his immediate concern was for Fulio and the others in the car. Unfortunately, Fulio was unresponsive after the shooting. Omerta managed to run into the hotel to seek help. Omerta expressed a mix of emotions, including guilt, blaming himself for not being able to get everyone home safely. He also described the physical pain he still feels from the injuries, but is grateful to be alive. The incident made him more reflective and appreciative of life. He also mentioned that after the incident, Fulio's passing had a significant impact on Jacksonville's music scene, leaving it feeling boring without Fulio's presence. Despite the traumatic experience, Omerta is committed to his music career. He feels conflicted about the attention his music has gained due to the tragedy, but is determined to continue making music. He expressed gratitude to his supporters and emphasized that more music is on the way. Now, what else is there to be said about the investigation? To nobody's surprise, the investigation into Fulio's death revealed that it was linked to a long-standing gang rivalry. Fulio was associated with the Six Block Gang, while the suspects are believed to be affiliated with the rival gangs ATK and 1200. This feud has been ongoing for over a decade and has resulted in numerous violent incidents. Detectives believe that the ATK and the 1200 worked together to target Jones as part of an ongoing feud in Jacksonville. I want to send a clear message to anyone that the city of Tampa is not where you want to come to settle a dispute. Authorities have arrested four suspects in connection with the murder. Isaiah Chance, Alicia Andrews, Sean Gathright, and Rashad Murphy. A fifth suspect, Davian Murphy, is still at large. Surveillance footage played a significant role in identifying the suspects, showing them following Jones from location to location before the shooting. Julio Fulio's mother, Sandricus Mays, expressed her grief and frustration over the reactions to her son's death and announced plans for a documentary about his life. She highlighted the impact of the gang feud on her son's life and death. Mays criticized individuals who celebrated her son's death highlighting the hypocrisy of those who supported his music while condemning the associated violence. She emphasized her unique perspective in the upcoming documentary, which aims to reveal the true story of Julio Fulio's life and the impact of the gang feud that contributed to his untimely death. Mays also shared her efforts to steer her son away from conflicts and expressed her discontent with the ongoing violence in the music industry. Let's talk suspects and, of course, Sean Gathright as the main perpetrator. Following the murder, the police held a press conference to explain how they identified the suspects. Using evidence from the crime scene, they began making arrests. 
on a rainy afternoon, the SWAT team moved in to arrest Sean Gathright. Body cam footage showed Gathright with his hands raised, cooperating as officers handcuffed him. Detectives also used social media to link Gathright to two other suspects, Alicia Andrews and Isaiah Chance Jr. Both had been seen with Gathright in the days before the murder, and their social media activity suggested they were involved in the plot. Officers then went to arrest Isaiah Chance Jr. During a heavy rainstorm, they surrounded his home, armed and ready, and ordered him to surrender. Chance was quickly identified and detained. The last arrest was Alicia Andrews, who emerged from the same location as Chance with her hands raised and was immediately handcuffed. Both were taken into custody and later booked. The sheriff's office released their mugshots and the charges against them were severe. Premeditated first-degree murder with a firearm and conspiracy to commit premeditated first-degree murder with a firearm, indicating that the murder was carefully planned and executed. Not much is known publicly about Sean Gathright, but we do know that he had previously targeted Julio Fulio. In an earlier incident, Fulio survived a shooting where he was hit in the foot. Gathright was connected to this October 2023 attempt on Fulio's life when investigators found shell casings during a traffic stop that matched those from the earlier shooting. This evidence linked Gathright to both the prior attempt and the fatal shooting in June 2024. Gathright is now facing serious charges, including two counts of premeditated murder with a firearm, three counts of attempted premeditated murder with a firearm, and tampering with evidence. The additional attempted murder charges indicate Gathright's involvement not only in Fulio's death but also in the attempted murder of three others injured in the attack. The story doesn't end there, as authorities are still pursuing Rashad and Davian Murphy, who have been charged with first-degree murder and three counts of attempted first-degree murder. Warrants have been issued for their arrest, and police are seeking public assistance to locate them. During a press conference, police revealed that the arrested suspects are members of the notorious ATK gang and 1200. They also confirmed that Fulio's murder is connected to the ongoing gang rivalry in Jacksonville, a fact that didn't surprise those familiar with the local hip-hop scene. Given that this case is a major thing and the authorities want to prove a point, things are moving forward rather quickly, and we've already seen the suspects show up in court just a few days ago. So, a judge has denied bail for three individuals accused in the gang-related killing of a Jacksonville rapper in Tampa. Alicia Andrews, Isaiah Chance, and Sean Gathright all appeared together in a Hillsborough County court on the 8th of August. No bond, that is what a Hillsborough County judge ruled for the three suspects arrested in connection with killing a rapper outside of a Tampa hotel back in June. Police say Alicia Andrews, Isaiah Chance, Sean Gaithright, and Rashad Murphy followed Julio Fulio while he was celebrating his birthday here in town. Surveillance video shows the moments Fulio was ambushed and killed in the hotel parking lot. In court, the lead detective testified laying out the events and timeline of the shooting. The judge ordered that all three suspects will be held without bond until trial. I'm finding that there is a substantial probability that all three defendants committed the dangerous crimes that they are charged with. Right now, two additional suspects, Davion Murphy and Rashad Murphy, are also facing murder charges in connection with the crime. Davion Murphy has not been arrested at this time. Tampa Police Detective Juan Ramos, the lead investigator on the case, testified as new surveillance footage was shown to the court. The video came from two Tampa nightclubs that Julio Fulio visited before returning to the home two suites. Given the significant role video evidence plays in this case, Sean Gathright's attorney challenged its validity during Thursday's court hearing. Once again, there is no actual video or identifiable footage that shows that Mr. Gathright was pre physically present at home two suites. Is that correct? Correct. The state presented a picture from Gathright's cell phone taken one day after the murder, showing a bottle of Don Julio. The detective testified that, based on gang knowledge, this represents an insult to the rapper Julio Fulio. Here's Gathright's attorney. Were you able to ascertain if my client, Mr. Gathright, was the one that actually purchased Don Julio? No. Um, so anybody could have been at that club and purchased it. Yes, of course. As you could see, the prosecution introduced a photo from Gathright's phone taken a day after the murder showing a bottle of Don Julio. Ramos suggested this was a diss directed at the rapper Julio Fulio based on gang culture. Gathright's attorney questioned whether his client had purchased the Don Julio bottle. Ramos confirmed that they could not verify that Gathright was the purchaser and acknowledged that anyone at the club could have bought it. 
as the investigation into the murder of Charles Jones, also known as Julio Fulio, continues to unfold, Sean Gathright remains at the center of a complex and high-profile case. With his prior involvement in a shooting and now facing multiple serious charges, including premeditated murder, attempted murder, and evidence tampering, the road ahead for Gathright appears bleak. The evidence against him is substantial, with surveillance footage linking him to the crime scene and connections to ongoing gang conflicts. The gravity of the charges, coupled with the brutal nature of the crime, paints a grim picture for Gathright's future. Many legal experts and observers believe that given the severity of the allegations and his previous record, a life sentence in prison is almost inevitable. As the legal proceedings advance, Gathright's defense will have the daunting task of challenging the overwhelming evidence against him. However, with the high-profile nature of this case and the serious charges he faces, the chances of a lenient outcome seem slim. The justice system is likely to pursue the harshest penalties, reflecting the gravity of the crimes and the ongoing violence in Jacksonville. In the coming months, as the courtroom drama unfolds, all eyes will be on how the legal process addresses the complexities of this case. For now, Sean Gathright's future remains uncertain, but the weight of the evidence and the nature of the charges suggest that he may be facing a long and difficult road ahead, with life in prison potentially being the ultimate outcome. 